Hey, it's John Foss. Very excited to be talking with executive producer, co-director Tom Rinaldi of the new documentary. It's called All Madden. It's going to air Christmas Day, 1 p.m. on Fox here in the Twin Cities. Tom, tell us all about All Madden. This is essentially a journey uh, in our own way on the Madden Cruiser through the different seasons and stages of John Madden's life. I mean, he has done so much. No one has done more, really, for the most popular sport in the country than John Madden. And those are not my words, John. They come from Roger, people like Roger Goodell or Howie Long. How about the fact that we, we requested 38 different interviews for this? We got 38 yeses. Everybody from Patrick Mahomes to Tom Brady to Bill Belichick to Bill Parcells to Goodell to Lawrence Taylor uh, to TV executives. Everybody said yes. That's how beloved John is, an absolute American original. Well, I grew up loving John Madden. I mean, anytime John Madden, Pat Summerall were announcing a game, that was the game to watch. And then later with Al Michaels, same thing there. So big fan myself. And uh, my question for you is, number one, how did you get involved in this project? Why did you do it? And number two, what was the biggest thing that you found out while making this project that you didn't know going into it? Well, this was really a labor of love that, that came from Fox Sports CEO Eric Shanks and our lead game producer, Richie Zions, who works on the Buck Aikman crew, because they worked on Madden's crew decades ago as they made their own ascent in their careers and how much they feel they owe to John through his tutelage and how much he helped them. And so that was really the impetus to do this. In terms of what we learned, wow, there's so much that we did. How about this? After John retired, shocking everybody after being the youngest ever at that time to win the Super Bowl, the first thing he did after he retired was he taught a class at Cal Berkeley in football and how to appreciate and understand football. That's just one of many, many different things we learned. The tour bus, which ultimately when he stopped flying, was Dolly Parton's old tour bus. That, there, there's so many different things that we learned about John. No one had used the Telestrator before him. Production meetings didn't exist with coaches and players before him. The first downline and his role that he played in its creation. So many different things we learned about John. One thing that I know a lot of people like myself who are big fans of John Madden, loved seeing him on Sunday and Monday night, are maybe wondering, Nowadays, what's he up to? I mean, he's in the documentary, so you obviously know. Tell us what John Madden is up to today. John is 85 years old. He's still as sharp as ever. He has great memory, great acuity, still watches in his own soundstage in Pleasanton, California, if you can believe it, nine games at a time on Sunday, watching everything that he can. Uh, and he still is on the other end of the phone from Roger Goodell. He has served on the competition committee. He has served on the safety panel for players. He's still deeply involved in the NFL right now. You mentioned the amazing list of names of people who uh, were ready, willing, and able to be in this documentary. What was the most interesting thing that you heard from one of these interviewees? Well, maybe as, as an entirety, the most interesting interview was with his wife, Virginia who he's married to for 61 and a half years, who is one of the stars in our view of the documentary. But we interviewed Bill Belichick. John, we asked for half an hour at the 28 minute mark. Uh, Joel Santos, the co-director and I stopped and Bill Belichick didn't move. He spent another 20 minutes with us talking about John Madden. That was a revelation in and of itself. Why did you guys choose Christmas to air this documentary? Well, we think he's he's so synonymous with football, and the truth is, John, a lot of there's a, the youngest generation. There's a lot of kids, who, and not just kids, who are going to be receiving the latest version of the Madden video game under the tree. And what better time you're gonna be, you're gonna play Madden, and then hopefully for this younger generation, you're gonna learn about Madden. Because for that younger generation, John, as you know, there are people who don't even know he's a real person. They just see him as a name and a brand attached to the video game. All right. Well, Tom Rinaldi, thanks so much for being with us here in the Twin Cities. All Madden is the name of the documentary. I can't wait to see it. Christmas Day, 1 p.m. on Fox. Thanks, Tom. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Merry Sean. Christmas.